Fall is right around the corner, and that means many producers are preparing to sell their calves. So what kind of prices should cattlemen expect? Well, we have more in this week's Market Watch. Market Watch, brought to you by Fort Dodge Animal Health. Joining me today is Troy Appelhans of Cattlefax. Welcome, Troy. Thanks, Susie. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. Most producers are preparing to sell calves this fall. Um, how will prices compare to a year ago? You know, we've followed a very typical and normal seasonal price pattern to the calf prices so far this year in 2008, with the highs typically occurring in the spring time frame during the peak of demand. As you go through the year, they typically bottom out for an annual low price in the fall during that October-November time frame during the peak of the calf run. We're anticipating to continue following that typical seasonal trend with price risk of 2 to 3 percent lower than current prices. I think prices will end up about three to four dollars lower on average over the price of, of over the course of uh, the fall run. But you know, with corn prices being three to four dollars a bushel higher at certain times this year compared to a year ago, an increase in freight rates, we're still doing pretty good. Good. How are higher gas and diesel prices affecting calf prices? There's no doubt, uh, certainly, that higher transportation costs have affected producers' pocketbooks. Yep. And obviously those producers that are what we quote uh, term freight away from the central and southern plains feeding regions are at a disadvantage in terms of what their calves uh, will, will bring this year compared to the past. You know, one way that producers have combated this and, and the impact of the increased freight rates and the signal that the marketplace is sending us is to make those cattle bigger. Those producers that have ample feed resources are encouraged to to feed those calves to a higher weight and or make feeder cattle out of them in order to combat that. And those uh, price spreads between the feeder cattle and calves have certainly narrowed up in recent months. You mentioned making the cattle bigger. What other opportunities exist for producers to add value to their calves? You know, the market continues to differentiate between quality and value of calves on a, on a big basis. The price spreads between and within weight groups of cattle are record large. And the recent video sale data that we've looked at would indicate that there are significant premiums that are being garnered by producers that have source and age verified their cattle. Um, also the premium for weaned and preconditioned calves is certainly record large at the present time. You know, we're encouraging our producers to uh, precondition and wean their calves and source and age verify them in order to garner the highest prices possible. One of the things that uh, we feel certainly can help producers is, again, to make those cattle bigger if you have ample feed resources. And uh, also those cattle that, that have a, some performance history behind them in terms of efficiencies in the feed yard and on the rail, those types of cattle will be sought after on a more annual basis by buyers. Good information. Thank you very much, Troy. Thank you very much. We look forward to having you back. Bye-bye. For more information and industry analysis, you can visit cattlefacts.com.